My name is Father Len McMillan. I'm the pastor of St. Pius Catholic Church in Coeur d'Alene. I'd like to welcome you. And during this Easter season, there's this great resurrection story in the Bible where Christ appears to the apostles, except he appears actually as a stranger walking the beach. And the apostles went fishing. And the beloved disciple, John, because he sees the world through eyes of love, he can see the stranger is Christ and says, it is Christ. And Peter does this weird thing where he puts on clothes and jumps in the water. And then when he gets to Christ, there's these fish that are uh, burning in hot coals. So let me explain that. In baptism, you put on this garment. Uh, Peter jumps in the water. So it symbolizes baptism. Um, the fish, ancient Christians would know uh, the fish is a symbol of the Eucharist. So the point being, the resurrection, we can see with eyes of love Christ in the stranger. We can see the presence of Christ in the sacraments of baptism and the Eucharist. But then this story takes this great, strange twist where Peter is asked by Christ to bring the fish. So Peter's boat symbolizes the church, and in communion with the resurrected Christ, Peter casts this net and catches 153 fish. So let me explain what the net and the 153 means. Uh, the net symbolizes the gospel of love. Now there's a story just like this at the beginning of the gospels where Peter once again, when he's called, casts an, uh, a net and catches a large fish. Except in the first story, um, the nets start to break. Well, that, those nets are the nets of catechism. With uh, teaching the gospel and catechism, we can gain a lot of people, but it can't hold a whole bunch of diverse people. The nets start to break. But when Peter is in communion with the resurrected Christ, throwing the net of love, it can catch all sorts of people. The 153 symbolizes all the different types of people in the world. Ancient Christians or Jews believe that there's 153 different types of nations, people in the world. And in communion with the uh, risen Christ under the headship of Peter, the boat can hold all sorts of type of people, Americans, Hispanics, even the Canadians, all of us can fit into one boat united together in love. And so if you're in Coeur d'Alene, please, I invite you, come into the boat of Peter and let us be united. God bless. How's that? Too rambling? Oh, did I really say that? I did flip-flop that, apparently. First time in my life. Ah, uh, okay. What if I did this at the end? Thank you.